Hi, it's me again with Kirill Droll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this PDF of a file and it's not to scale when he imports it into Kirill Draw. Uh, luckily, there's plenty of measurements. So this is 122 millimeters from that point to that point. So I just took the parallel dimension tool and actually clicked on that node and clicked on that node. And we have 24.41. Uh, so we've got the two numbers. It should be 122 and it's only uh, 24. So we're going to get out a calculator and we're going to go 122 divided by 24.41 and we come up with 49. And if we extend it all the way out, it'll be closer. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that. It comes in as this number. And you don't have to, but we're going to change it to artistic text. So it's four nine point that number. Now we have another number that we know now. Well, we don't really know the size of the box, but if we click on the box, we have it's 419.982 millimeters. So we need to take this number and do this. So we're gonna take away, I'm gonna backspace to there, and then I'm gonna hit the a multiply time or the asterisk and I'm going to go 4.99795 we don't have to go all this way but I'm going to go and just see um, you could actually probably paste this in and I've got my ratio locked so when I do that it makes the map now huge now, if we remember that before, that number that was 122, the one measurement, and I, I so I had my ratio locked, so I did it in all 100% uh, on all of them. Now let's take in our parallel dimension tool, and let's go from that node to that node, and I've come up with 22.01. That's probably close enough. Uh, it could probably be adjusted. Uh, but I don't really, I don't know that it needs to be. Uh, let's do another measurement just to kind of check it out. So we're at 44168 from there to there. Well, that's a little bit, let's do this one. It's a little easier because it's got, the lines are better right there. So let's take our parallel dimension tool, just kind of test it out to the end, go from that node to that intersection and we're a little bit further off, and that could be just a little bit of hand movement. Uh, the the picture is a little bit fuzzy. Um, let's see if we can find a better number. Well, here's a good one. Here's a good number right here. Let's go parallel dimension tool from that node to that node, and see we're a little bit off. Um, you know, this is so close, and that's, that's not really that close. That's 61.53. Um, you know, that could just be, you know, the thickness of the line. See, I'm right in the middle of that line. And I'm right in the middle of that line. So I'm not, I don't know 100%. I was hoping there'd be another number that we could run off of. Okay, here's 114. Parallel dimension tool. From that node to that node, and we're at 1390. So we're a little, we're 0.10 millimeters off. On this one, we're only 0 0.01 off. And, you know, that, you know, if we look at this and go the, uh, back to the parallel dimension tool and click on it, and we run it up another, another uh, digit, well, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I need to click. I need to click on the, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this number and bring it out. And I need to hit on that little bitty line. See, we're at, I mean, 122.011. So, you know, that number could be off. You know, we could play with it a little bit. You know, you could take this and see we're at, 
Uh, so we're a little bit, a little bit big. Let's go. Uh, and I wouldn't suggest doing this, but let's go seven. You see now it, it's now let's go seven point five or seven five, and there's one twenty two even, but it didn't really change the other one too much. You know we're close. We're eleven one hundredths of a millimeter off, which is a pretty tiny tiny. So just play around with that and see if that, I hope that helps him. It's a pretty good drawing. I, I like it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.